Remember Falcon, the large language model that everybody was talking about before Llama 2 came in? So Amazon, surprisingly Amazon, has launched a new model called Falcon Lite. This is actually from that Falcon. So this has done two things. One, Amazon has taken the other model, which is a Falcon that is fine tuned on open assistant data set. And they have taken this model and they've quantized it. So this is a quantized version of the bigger Falcon. 40 billion parameter model that is instruct fine tune on open assistant data set. But very surprisingly and also very interestingly, Amazon has made it capable of processing longer text that is up to 11,000 tokens. So one, this is a smaller model that can run on lesser memory Two, it has longer memory because I mean, I'm calling it memory because it has context window, the tokens, so it can up accept up to 11,000 11, tokens while consuming less than four, four times less than GPU power. It's a very interesting approach. And uh, of course, Amazon being Amazon, you know, the moment they are putting out a model, they want you to host the model on AWS. We're not going to discuss that. But the point here is that this is a new model. It's an interesting model. It gets further interesting when you go see the benchmarks, which we'll see shortly. So what have they done? They've taken the larger 40 billion Falcon that is fine tuned on open assistant data set and they've done a four bit quantization GPTQ quantization of the model and they have ap applied another technique called dynamic NTK rotary embedding to get this larger context window. Because of that, they are claiming that Falcon Lite achieves a balance between latency, accuracy and memory efficiency. So with the ability to process five times longer context length than original model, Falcon Lite is useful for applications like topic retrieval, summarization and question and answering. This is something that we have been recently discussing a lot on this channel that how important longer context window becomes. If you have got a huge PDF that has got, let's say more than 10,000 words or tokens, then your traditional uh, GPT-4, GPT-3.5 may not be re really helpful because it doesn't support longer context. Of course, I know OpenAI recently announced the 16K APA endpoint and before that they had announced the 32K APA endpoint. But with the realms of open source models, longer context window means longer or bigger memory that you can give feed into the large language models in a short term basis. It's it's just like having a large RAM um, you don't have large hard disk, but you have a large RAM and that's, that's exactly what longer context window gives you. It prevents you from going into the nuances of vector DB. Um, I mean, you might still need vector DB, but still for a given conversation, it gives a lot of memory to the large language model that the large language model can use. And that becomes really helpful if you have summarization tasks or, you know, if you have got like a, a document from an attorney and then you want to ask question and answering or investor documents or you want to do topic retrieval which is one of the tasks that a lot of companies still do because you have got a lot of customer feedback and you want to understand what topic the customer is talk talking about so it looks like a large language model that is large but also quantized version that is also large enough to handle bigger context that also consumes lesser memory is uh, it's a very sweet spot, I would say, and uh, you can see the model details in itself. The interesting part here is if, okay, if you were to run this model, uh, unlike what Amazon has said, if you were to run this model yourself, then you should use something called GPTQ. So you can go and then use this auto GPTQ. You can install auto GPTQ and you can start using this model. Auto GPTQ lets you run quantized model on CPU and GPU. You can see the comparisons the um, scores and everything that's something that for you to keep in mind if you are interested in learning how to do that i can make a separate video about it but here i'm not going to do that video so if you don't want to use amazon the bottom line is you can use auto gptq and you can run this gptq model now looking into the evals like evaluation result and benchmarks they have tested it in three different tasks topic retrieval line retrieval pass key retrieval and in all these three tasks, they've compared it with different context windows. When the context window is less than 4,000, context window is less than 6,000, context window is less than 8,500, and context window is up till 1,100, 11,000. If you see this, it does a 
pretty good job. It does a pretty good job as long as the context window is less than 6000 and it starts deteriorating uh, when the context window goes more than 7500. In the line retrieval task, it does pretty bad. Like you can see it is not good at it. But in the pass key retrieval task, it, it is actually scoring high even for higher uh, context window. You can go into these links and then understand what these tasks are individually. The point is the mod is holding up really good for uh, for at least like two categories of eval tasks, uh, even for longer context window. And if you look at the question and answering with long input text, this is another thing that we even recently saw with the, the together long llama model that when you have longer input text, you want the engine or the large language model to give you answers as much as possible. And you can see the train set accuracy 40, approximately 47%, which is a good number. And uh, the hard subset accuracy approximately 40%, which is again a good number. So um, I honestly feel like the model is holding up well. And uh, another problem with longer models is when you are trying to generate or models with longer context windows when you are trying to generate the model to respond create an output it takes a lot of time in generating the tokens so amazon has compared the token average number of generated token per second tps for different machines that they have got and then they have compared the you know the context length like for example if it has to generate 10000 tokens then the tokens per second is like 12 but if it is like less, uh, then it is less. So they've done this comparison. This may not matter a lot if you are doing it on your own machine or your own server. But if you are to use Amazon, they've compared it with two different machines for you to get an understanding about how they hold up. But overall, in my in my personal humble opinion, I think this is a really good approach. And uh, the bloke, the bloke is somebody uh, who's been always releasing, you know, these kind of models. And... Uh, I'm quite happy to see uh, a big corporate actually jumping into this world and uh, trying to build this model. And like I said, this model is built on top of this Falcon 40 billion uh, supervised fine tuning on top of open assistant data set. And this model is a really good model. So it seems like open, uh, it seems like Amazon has managed to hit a sweet spot uh, to direct the users to run this large model on their smaller machines while also, you know, putting that effort in quantizing and extending the context length. I think it will be interesting to see how the model performs in real about it. This is released in Apache 2.0 license. So I can assume that that is also in open license. I would like to see um, what do you feel about it? If you want an exclusive tutorial about running a GPTQ model, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful to you in learning about Falcon Lite from Amazon. See you in another video. Happy prompting.